ask to start and then I'll start ask, my video ask to start okay okay there we go okay great so <laughs> if I can get rid of this yeah. now can I close that okay great hang on so let me transition over to the the professional thing no <laughs> Hi. <laughs> well, thanks for asking us. Yeah. <laughs> this yeah. is my first <laughs> Twitch experience. Yeah. We still don't see anything. Are we supposed to see anything? Okay. Okay. Should, should we go on to Instagram and, and like watch you live? Is that how we? Hello. Is that better now, guys? You can hear me in the chat. Is that better? Sorry. It's, it's such a juggling act, this thing. Yes, I know I'm muted. Hello? 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 You've got me. Okay, great. Uh, no, this isn't on Instagram. This is on Twitch. Okay. Mm -hmm. um, so, uh, so like going on Instagram wouldn't work. Um, but if you want to go, if you want to open a browser on Twitch, you can. It's literally just twitch.tv forward slash miles underscore Dobson. And then you would see the chat, but you would also get the audio doubled. Oh, no. so that's, yeah, no. that's up to you. You don't yeah. need to do that. Um, okay. And you can you can just look at Rachel. Rachel is far more appealing to look at than I am with my stupid bloody <laughs> hair and whatever. Um, so for people that don't know, because I imagine that some people, uh, that was cringe. Yes, I know. I get it. Um, so for people that don't know, like, how did you guys get started on the show? Because because Frank started the show, right? Right. And then and then were you on from the beginning? Were you? Did you guys come on later on? How how did it happen? Uh, well, I was on from the beginning. Yeah. I was on another show of Frank's, and mm -hmm. he was um, he kind of came to the writers' room and said, "Oh, I have this idea for a dance show, and we're gonna we're gonna shoot a demo, and anybody who wants to help write and." work on it right right um and so i helped with the demo okay and um i think we shot the demo in the summer of 2011 okay and um by march of 2012 it got picked up and for canada that's like really fast <laughs> oh really okay. okay yeah um so yeah so i've been on the show from the beginning i didn't do uh, season four. So that was the one that I didn't do. And then right. when Frank stepped away, yeah. um, I was kind of, I had been the second. And um, so they asked me to come back mm. and co-show run with Karen. And that's when Karen came on in season five. And had you, had, had you been like, uh, Karen, had you been kind of like aware of, of the show in the, in the kind of the Canadian ether that is the production? Is it, was it like a, that oh well I or... yeah I, I knew of it I knew it was like a big show um and very popular and uh up until that time my experience had both had been more in the adult world and then uh mm. and then I had moved on to Nickelodeon series so mm -hmm. um but then I had the great fortune of meeting up with Rachel and we clicked and here we are yeah. several seasons Season later seven. and I know. yeah but it it was uh, it, it was amazing to join the show and then to like fully appreciate like it it's it's huge it's not yeah. and we and we we hit great. a milestone while we were filming as well right that was it was mm -hmm. a, a big like episode milestone as well for the show which was really exciting for, yeah. for like being being like it was my first my first season on the show and we also hit a milestone that was really that was really really um, exciting to be to be in that. <gasps> well and and props to the teams through all the seasons because mm. it's 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 an amazing thing to reach 200 episodes in any any show a half yeah. hour show or a one hour show but to get 200 episodes i mean it it speaks so much to the quality and the creative and yeah. everybody behind the scenes and in front of the camera yeah. and the fans of course oh yeah absolutely um so we have our first question which is really exciting um 
So this is from Jacko, who donated $10. Thank you very much. Uh, Jacko wants to know, how come there is limited set locations in Season 7 as opposed to Season 3 where there are multiple locations? Sorry, my computer internet is not great. What That's was okay. the question? It just cut out no, no, for no, a no. sec. No, 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 it's okay, it's okay. Don't worry. Okay, thanks. Internet, it's like everyone's having these kind of issues with internet interviews and things <laughs> like that. Um, how come that there are limited set locations in Season 7 as opposed to Season 3 where there were multiple locations? I know this answer, but I'm going to let you because that's why you're here. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Do you want me to... You, you take it because okay. you were on Season 3 too. Okay. Um, well, it's a bit technical of a question, mm. mm -hmm. um, but we have a set budget for the show. Mm. And um, as we write, money kind of... Uh, gets allocated to different things. And yeah. so in season three, for example, we the story required that we go to internationals, which mm -hmm. meant we go to Miami. Mm -hmm. So in order to accommodate that, we had to make cuts in other ways yeah. to accommodate Miami. Um, yeah. Whereas in uh, five, six, seven, we uh, stressed different things mm -hmm. uh, and different stories. And mm -hmm. so money got allocated to those things instead. Yes, I agree. And I know exactly what you're talking about, and I'm not going to say anything. But yes, that's that's that's, that's a very very uh, spoiler-free answer there that I really liked. Yeah, that was great. Um, so uh, so season seven, um, brand new beetroot, basically a lot more emphasis on beetroot. Um, was there any kind of like? Was that going from the beginning of the writing process? Were you like, we're going to hit Be True Pod, we're going to bring in these brand new people and kind of emphasize those? Was it kind of something that came to fruition as you were as you were going along, as you were coming up with what the season was going to be? What do you think? Uh, uh, I'll... I love that it's okay, just like, I'll... just go. Okay, just, just, just whoever gets there first. Is um, great. <laughs> yeah. Uh, it was something at the early stages that we knew we wanted to... Uh... We want to develop B Troop more and really explore mm. their stories. Mm. We, um, our casting sessions, our casting calls also help dictate this. We mm. saw amazing dancers, and, uh, you know, it was easy to make a B Troop out of all the talent that we saw. Mm -hmm. So, um, and I'm sure, you know, fans can expect there's always going to be some sort of rival like another team that we're tracking so in season six we were tracking acro nation along mm. with the next step so mm. we, you know we thought let's let's develop b troop and um the 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 dancers were amazing the casting yeah were amazing. so we really want to to lean into that yeah um be, uh, sweet pete is in our chat room right now um, oh, sweet pete's in the chat um and he said uh he wants to know about the B Troop audition. I presume he means about the B Troop audition process, although he might correct me. Um, but like, did you have like, uh, like what, what was the, like how many people did you see for B Troop? Was it in like, in a rough estimate? Was it like, like in the, in the thousands, in the tens of thousands, in the hundreds or in like the, the tens? Cause I remember in, I remember in my audition when, when I came in, I was surrounded by people in leotards, which was, which was, um, uh, it was an experience coming in yeah. completely cold. Um, so was it, was it that yeah. kind of like, a, was it kind of a big, a big process for that? Yeah. 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 Do you want to go ahead? No, you go. Uh, yeah. I mean, I would say it's probably the hundreds. Mm -hmm. Um, so our casting director, Amy does the kind of the first round yeah. of, of cuts and uh she's you know a choreographer and dancer as well so she knows kind of who can dance that's mm -hmm. kind of the the first test um and once she's kind of narrowed it down karen and i'll come in and um we start with dancing so mm -hmm. we see people dance mm -hmm. and then from there we we narrow it down again and we ask them questions and mm -hmm. talk to them mm -hmm. to kind of get a sense of their personalities um and then from there we narrow it down and do some improv with them so we yeah. can you know see, yeah. play see how they do yeah um so yeah that's that's basically the process yeah and since sweet pete is hopefully still in the chat room <laughs> you know we saw him when we were casting for season five and yeah. 
we wow. definitely i think we saw almost a thousand dancers for that season um and we we always really liked him he was always somebody that we would track and this speaks to like every year you know stories shift and change mm. and he auditioned and uh we were really really happy that he came back and auditioned again for season seven because we finally had a place mm. um where we could find story and yeah. um really make the most of his personality and his talents and and uh and and develop something for him yeah, yeah. and he does really well I love Sweet oh. Pea. He's great. He's oh adorable. yeah, such um, good energy. Um, yeah, great like, dancer, great personality. Yeah, yeah absolutely. Yeah. Oh, he's blushing. He says, "He's oh, you're making <laughs> me blush." Um, oh, and like, and so we had the, we had, the, yeah, I know, I know. Um, so we had the, we had the kind of the bro auditions just come out. I think that was the last episode that just came out. Um, oh yeah. And like, we, there was a lot of emphasis on like it, the friendships between people and stuff like that. You know, the, the, certainly between the 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 B troopers seem to we seem to be seeing the kind of friendships and like who's strongest with each other and stuff. Did that kind of did that come about like because I know you guys were still writing quite quite along as as were you writing while we were still while when we'd started filming or were, were all the scripts done when we we were done? No, you were still writing when we were filming. Yeah, yeah absolutely. Yeah. <laughs> so so did you kind of see? the chemistry that different people had while we were filming at the beginning of the show and that kind of inspired different like scenes and stuff or was it more like we're gonna have the bros and so we want to have different bros come in and kind of specifically for that for this episode that just came out what do you think well um i'll speak to like the a troop bros the thunder yeah. bros yeah they i mean you know, we knew we knew all of them. Mm. Uh, we had worked with them for at least a couple seasons at that yeah. point. Yeah. Um, so so we kind of knew their chemistry and for wanted sure. to play with that. Um, for the Funder Bunch, we uh, we had an idea for like the story, we, like ba the basic structure of it. Mm. Um, but you know, then they brought their own like their own chemistry to their it, own yeah. character to it yeah. and and yeah. and we kind of wrote to tailor to that but also uh let them explore like yeah. you know going back to, <laughs> to ben he came to set and he had all these great uh, bro puns and we were like <laughs> well we gotta use those like <laughs> oh yeah know? like that wasn't even us like he was like i'm a pop bro because bro and like yeah, <laughs> like, yeah. And, and it's amazing that's what we want that's what we hope yeah. for is that all of our cast is you know they're going to run with the outlines that we give them and really make a meal out of it and and now we've got the thunder bunch yeah yeah, Ethan, yeah. marcus and sweet pete and sweet pete. You know. yeah um no i loved i loved all of that that was great and I, I i appreciate that you threw me in there to be like the grumpy dad that didn't know anything <laughs> as well that's really fun um um so do you think that like we'll see more of those kind of relationships of the Thunder Bunch and the and the Thunder Bros kind of develop as the season goes on and things. I already know, but I'm pretending that I don't for the, for the sake of answering questions. Do you think that's kind of something that we'll see going forward? Uh, well, yeah. No, go ahead. <laughs> oh, I was just gonna say I don't think we put the same spotlight on it. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Um, but there's yeah, I mean there's definitely the relationships, the, the mm -hmm. friendships. Mm -hmm. Like yeah. that's always yeah. That's yeah. a fun, good. yeah. The the yeah the love and the chirping and the chirp with love. Yes, yeah. yes, yes. Uh, like uh, I I really liked um the 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 scene that we had between uh, Izzy and Ozzy, like their their <laughs> little their little um you know sibling kind of support but also rivalry and Izzy's up in his face and very kind of you know younger sister kind of thing. I really like that. Do you think that? uh there's going to be any kind of do you think izzy's going to kind of be wanting to get out of ozzy's shadow a little bit do you think there's going to be any kind of rivalry develop with izzy and those kind of things or like do you think ozzy's going to have like he seems to he seems to be okay right now with izzy but do you think that he's going to get upset that ozzy is kind of like taking center stage or anything like that what it... uh i think 
I think that um, there's a sibling dynamic between A Troop and B Troop. Mm. And, yes. uh, you know. <laughs> okay, yes, I agree. That's that's a good yeah. answer. Um, you, uh, you guys can't see the chat, but there's a lot of people going a bit nuts right now. They love that you're here. Um, oh, that's um, very kind. No, yeah. They, they, Thanks, they love that you're here and they have, they have, uh, yeah. they're, they're all losing it. Um, do you think that does 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 the fan reaction to to previous seasons have like an effect on what you guys do in terms of writing for like so you know if there's if there's something that gets a lot of a lot of excitement from the fans in the previous season do you try to like lean into that more writing for the for a, a following season hmm do you try to avoid social media mm. and stuff for, for that kind of thing? Do you try to to avoid the, the fandom and what have you? Yeah, I would say bit. for the most part, we don't lean too much into to fandom. Like, mm -hmm. um, we like, I mean, I, I love seeing people's like guesses for like the season and yes. you know, what's coming up yes, and all that. Absolutely. Um, so that's always fun. Yeah. But um, yeah, I think, we try and kind of stay in a bubble so we can keep mm. it as pure as possible mm -hmm. yeah. mm -hmm. and just be as authentic to to what we've already set up or or what the actors are offering and yeah you know yeah um no yeah. That, that i think I've, there's that's kind of been the death of a couple of shows where they they lean too much into what the fans want rather than what they feel is kind of true to the true to the story and true to the nature of the show and those kind of things and i think that's you know i think that works really well for for the next step and stuff um so and this is kind of something that that i was um i was curious about because it happened i'd never seen i'd never been on a show with with dancing and you know people doing acrobatics and things like that um and so for me i didn't know what the process was because we had noah have a bit of an injury during filming and so mm -hmm. um, do you find that, like you guys have been on the show for a long time. I'm sure there's been a lot of injuries before. Um, so it's probably old hat for you guys at this point. We're just like, oh, it's fine, it's fine. Um, do, you, do you kind of uh, explore how to, like does that ever become a part of, of the character going forward for a couple of episodes? I mean, I know that there was, uh, Maddie had an injury that we kind of worked into the show um, but then also mm -hmm. with Noah, we we kind of didn't a, as much, and so I'm just wondering, mm -hmm. like, is there is there a, a fast and loose rule in terms of injuries with with the cast and writing? I think it depends really on the extent of the injury. Mm. Uh, when Noah had his mishap, let's say, mm. uh, <laughs> yeah, his mishap. You know, when he, when he was injured, we were able. It, it coincided with like it was earlier in the schedule. We had story that we could write around and we could work with his um, rehab schedule. Mm. Um, Maddie's injury was uh, a bit more extensive or needed more time to heal with the with regards to like the story that we had originally planned for her. Mm. So we, you know, I think I think, you know, in terms of season seven, we we wrote and we were able to accommodate everybody's rehab schedule and um, do the, uh, you know, change the story to make it hopefully seem seamless that mm -hmm. it all works out. Mm -hmm. um, but, you know, there was Michelle who, you know, when, when Vic had a broken leg, I mean, I don't know, Rachel, if you want to speak to that, but that I think required a little bit more of an overhaul. Mm. Yeah, That's that was a, yeah. In season three, right before we started she mm. broke her leg and um yeah there was a lot of rewriting <laughs> <laughs> it's a lot of rewriting yeah so yeah. you'll notice in that se in that season she's sitting down a lot mm. there's a lot of like shots that are just this so you can't see the cast a lot of shots, right <laughs> yeah we, you know like uh and things you don't even think about like you know we had a scene where it's like michelle walks in and sees emily well it's like well michelle can't walk in so <laughs> right. you know, right. how are we going to get Michelle and Emily in the same room if Emily's already in the room and Michelle needs to, you know, so there's a lot of puzzle pieces like that. 
Mm. Um, so that required some more writing. Yeah. Right, right, right. Um, so we, yeah, I mean, that's got to be so. God, I can't. I'm getting anxiety thinking about being in the writers' room when something like that happens. That's crazy. You um, know what? It's kind of fun. I, I mean, oh really? I, it's a, I yeah. mean, it's a personality. Yeah, we thing. should just Some all be injured. Maybe not. We'll just drop injuries willy nilly. Just, just, just to okay, give you a bit more crazy. fun. Let's, no, not crazy. <laughs> but I, I know what you're getting at, Rachel. Like, it's fun to, um, like, from a writing point of view, from a creative point of view, it's fun to you're you're thrown a curveball. And then you still rise to the occasion. And I think with Maddie's story, for instance, we were still able to capture all the things that we love about Winnie, Winnie's character and Winnie's passions mm. and keep those in the story and mm -hmm. honor what we loved about the elements that we had to lose in order mm. to accommodate the injury. Um, and, and you and get to constantly be writing. Like, yeah. you know, it's not which is nice i mean that's that's kind of the nature of the show anyway but mm. yeah yeah well that's i mean yeah how how do you think i mean did you guys start off as like did you go to school for for screenwriting and things like that like how did you get into the area of the business that, that you're in oh um yes <laughs> yes yeah uh you know growing up i was tv movie junkie and a book mm -hmm. junkie and I always loved writing and um, in university, I pursued communications and sociology mm -hmm. and then went to the American Film Institute for screenwriting, came back to Canada, um, special kind of turned my focus more to TV, went mm -hmm. to the Canadian Film Center. Not that anybody has to go to school to become a writer, mm -hmm. um, but that was my particular path. That was path. your path, yeah. Yeah. And Rachel, what about you? Yeah, same. I, I went to film school. Mm -hmm. um, I don't know that I'd re necessarily recommend it if you want to be a writer. <laughs> okay. To be honest, like right. I think I think you can do a lot of your learning. I think it's better to get knowledge and in things that interest you mm -hmm. because it, mm -hmm. you know, then you'll have stuff to write about. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Um. So yeah, I, but I mean, it was fine. Mm. <laughs> it was fine. <laughs> Yeah, it was whatever. It's all right. It's fine. Yeah. Um. Yeah, because I mean, I, I think there are a lot of people that watch the next step that like, uh, they they like writing fan fiction. There there are. It's like, it's in the top ten. I think it's like top ten or top fifteen categories of fan fiction is next step fan fiction. I think. Oh, wow. I think That's it's amazing. Up, it's, I think it's certainly up there. Um, is it Oh wow! So I want to go on to Wattpad and see. I what, know, right? What <laughs> I know. Yeah, yeah. Just be careful. There's a bunch of it. Uh, <laughs> so, like, I feel like that's maybe now the way that future generations are starting to get their. I mean, you know, you've got Twilight. No, Twilight wasn't fan fiction. Fifty Shades was Twilight fan fiction that ends up mm -hmm. becoming a huge, a huge global hit and whatever. Um, so do you think that that would be your your main recommendation would just be like keep writing and like put your story out there for people to read if you wanted to become like a writer on on a show like the next step uh i think i think for anyone who wants to pursue being a writer whether on the next step or any other tv show it's it's developing your voice first of all as a writer mm -hmm. um and and i think writing fan fiction writing uh anything that helps you develop your voice, figure out what stories you love to tell. Mm. And then there is an element of learning the craft, like mm. learning the craft of setup, payoff, beginning, middle, and telling mm. a story. Mm. I mean, those are all things that any uh, writer who aspires to transition from, you know, writing as a pastime to writing as a career, mm. you have to learn the craft. Right. Right, right. Rachel, you'd say kind of the same thing? Oh, yeah, I 100% agree. 100%. Yeah. Okay, great. <laughs> great. Um, so we got a donation in while we were talking. This is from one of our uh, celebrity fans, Mocking Ariana 3 from YouTube, Alicia, who's on later today. Oh. Um, and oh, yeah. uh, she's almost she's almost at 20K followers on, on YouTube now, so congrats on that, Alicia. Um, is congrats. There a... I think we've watched her videos too. We've... Right? Yeah. Right? Yeah. Haven't we all? <laughs> um, 
is there a reason that some characters don't get as much screen time? So she, sorry, she donated ten dollars to to ask a question. So thank you, Alicia, for the ten dollars. Um, is there a reason some characters don't get as much screen time or as much of plot as others? For example, Ka Kenzie hasn't really had a storyline. She's pretty much just been a friend character so far. Hmm. Is it more like a is it more like a time time constraints thing and editing thing? Because I know that there's a lot of footage that kind of ended up on the cutting room floor for this season. Yeah, yeah, that's definitely part of it. Mm. Um, we we also try and like, it's it's nice when we have different characters over different seasons because sometimes we'll focus on one and then kind of go out of one and focus on another and, um, you know, weave stories and then yeah, time is to time is a big issue. Mm -hmm. um, you know, sometimes we come up with stories and it's not always the right fit. For someone and we have to mm. change the story mm. that mm. happens sometimes mm. um it just it just varies yeah. yeah and and we do get uh stories that end up on the cutting room floor mm. towards the like in the end of the season there's some stuff with her that we just couldn't fit into the in, in right. you know it, and it happens with every character yeah 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 yeah, it's and and it's you know it's a juggling act, right? Especially when you have such a large cast as well, and you you have to hit certain certain beats to to make other stuff later on in the series pay mm -hmm. off and stuff like that. That you just have to kind of yeah. cut yeah. and cut and paste. I get it completely. Oh yes, I would like more water. Thank you. Sorry, my girlfriend's getting me more water. She's yes. been a very good producer today. Thank you. <laughs> um, so season seven, we have uh potentially some some um some gay romance in the show which is great it's i think that's like a, it's been a huge hit with the fans so far is that something that um that you aim to like uh lean more into going forward do, do you think that if there's a season eight of the next step here's hoping there is hashtag se uh, season eight when though um that uh that we'd maybe get someone like a, a non-binary character or a trans character join join the next step anything like that um i i mean i think that would be amazing if we could have something like that um i mean we're we're really excited that uh where the story is heading in season mm. seven mm. and again i would say like uh with our casting, we're really inspired by all the dancers that we see, mm. and um, we're open to it, to mm. a trans character, definitely, mm. mm -hmm. absolutely. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. I couldn't agree more, really. Um, yeah, it, there's it's... a there's a ballet dancer that I think we saw recently, or you know, some. It, anyway, there's lots of yeah. amazing stories out there. Yeah, it's no, just, absolutely. Uh, there's so much potential, and like, and I and I think you've you've said this previously, but like you 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 use what people bring in their audition and as the, you know their personalities inspire the character and then also the kind of storylines that they go through right mm -hmm. um and so that's i feel like that would be like you're never going to be short of because there's so many varied people there's going to be so many varied stories right um absolutely yeah um so do you think that you're uh is there is this is there anything that you were really excited for the fans to see this season that that they have seen so far i'm not going to ask you to to give any season spoilers away but is there like you know those kind of is it was there anything like oh i can't wait for this uh, for me i really liked thunder bros yeah. <laughs> like I, that was just you know it was such a fun script yeah. to work on it was really fun to shoot um yeah y yeah so i that was like really fun and like you know rochelle losing the face of absolute dance yeah mm. <laughs> it was just like and she went for it i mean absolutely props to her we were like put her in baggier dirtier sweatpants and yeah. she was like okay like yeah. you know we want the bun way here like yeah. a messier bun yeah. messier yeah. smear the makeup you yeah. know and yep absolutely yeah. Yeah. so yeah, yeah. And and to the point because it it is really uh, it's such a fun episode and I think we're so excited when the Rochelle memes were finally public and then we could <laughs> start using them because of course we we know we we can screenshot things well in yeah. advance yeah um, but it was just also delicious to see Summer 
become the new face of Absolute Dance yes. and, and play with that. Like they have this longstanding, um, you know, they have a history from season six fanning into season seven. So it mm. was just, it was really, it was fun to play with that. And yeah. To see where that would go. Yeah. And, uh, and so Dance Mania is on the horizon. Mm-hmm. It's very exciting. Um, are there any things that, that you could talk about that I w- can not usually talk about that because I would get fired? Is there anything that, uh, is there anything that, that we can, we can discuss about Dance Mania? I feel like that's, it's probably like the most ambitious thing that the next step has done so far. Absolutely. Yeah. 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 It's a great set. We leave the studio. Yeah. Yes. So, <laughs> yes. We leave the studio. Absolutely. Um, yeah, it's a, it's a great set. I think, yeah. um, because there's been there's yeah. been some there's been some teasers of dance mania so far in in stuff um, okay okay th- there's been there's been a couple of you know there's been some some little glimpses of it in in trailers and what have you um but like in terms of from a behind the scenes aspect like what was the undertaking that that got us to that point was it was it just kind of like a like a wouldn't it be great if or was it more like this is what we need to do and then like it was more just a logistical thing of okay what do we need was it was it always was it always like something that you guys wanted to do or was it more just for this season that it became like something uh that showed up in the writer's room um from the beginning of season seven we knew that we wanted to do something outside of the uh, predictable Mm. regional nationals internationals internationals, yeah uh and um it just it seemed like when we landed on dance mania it just seemed like a really fun like of course Mm. you know Mm. and it it was another a a different way that we hadn't looked at the theme that we're always exploring which is individual versus the team so Mm. um so it, it just ended up being really fun we're we're so happy with how it turned out mm. and the production value and um yeah it's good it's jam-packed it's yeah. jam-packed oh yeah absolutely i mean i think we can share that we the the episodes are longer than we're normally allowed to go so yes that's exciting um, <laughs> and we still <laughs> we still could have made them longer so uh we had to we had to cut but yeah it's it's juicy it's oh yeah absolutely jam- jam-packed yeah and it, and and in terms of like the production part of it and stuff like was it was it just uh like how much of that is just like does it come does it, it, it sorry i'm losing my voice already i've only been talking for three hours um is it is it very much just kind of like a a, a logistical thing when it comes to organizing something like that in production like I know it's it's not just you guys, but how much of that in terms of do you just write it down? You go like they go to dance mania and then a bunch of people panic, or like <laughs> how much how much of it sometimes. Is, how, how how yeah sometimes yeah but like and then there is a food fight oh Jesus Christ um, but then like so how how much how, how <laughs> involved <laughs> yeah right um, so how involved are you in 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 getting us to dance mania? Oh, Karen and I are involved heavily in every yeah. every every step yeah like um we have a amazing production designer bill layton and he you know he'll draw it and then we'll kind of look at that and you know reconfigure some things and mm-hmm. then um you know they have to build it and mm-hmm. yeah mm-hmm. just we, every step yeah we talked to our, our producer line producer is amazing with uh you know we always come in with this blue sky vision of what yeah. we want yeah. and somehow she's always able to make it yeah. happen yeah and you know there's yeah we i i mean it's it's a it's really an incredible team effort because uh mitch our director and mm. uh darby is our uh first ad and has directed many episodes yeah. himself but they all they all come together to like really schedule and make sure that we're able to maximize our days, maximize our dollars and, Mm. uh, give us, you know, Mm. the vision that we're hoping for. Yeah, absolutely. And they did, I mean, 
I mean, I've never, I don't, you know, I, I only know Darby for a little bit, but I've never seen him so stressed as when we were at Tanzania <laughs> with the amount of people he was wrangling at the same time. Crikey. It's um, a lot. In six yeah, a little bit. A little yeah. bit. Yeah. yeah. A lot. Uh, yeah. But I mean, yeah. they pulled it off, which is amazing. Um, so, uh, you know, you, you, you guys are, you guys are decision makers in the industry. Um, so, you know, being in, being in charge of this kind of, you know, long-standing show now, seven seasons, hopefully eight, if we, if we can manage it, um, do you, like, how do you plan on, with, with all of the kind of, the protests that are going on, you know, the, the charity fundraising and things like that, uh, how do you plan on, um, committing to, to people of color's stories going forward, um, you know, is it, is it something that, you know, obviously we have quite a diverse cast on the next step already, but is it something that you um, want to uh, emphasize more going forward? Is it something that's just always been something that you've you've uh, uh, prioritized? Uh, well, I think we've we've always prioritized diversity mm. Mm. on the screen, mm. um, diverse dance technique, diverse looks, mm. diverse you know cultures. Mm -hmm. Um, certainly we want to look for more diversity behind the scenes as well. Mm -hmm. Um, and then, you know, if the question is about like stories, um, mm. I think we're, we're always looking to tell character based stories and always shy away from stories where, um, like we want stories where people change mm -hmm. and mm. we, uh, and and based on things that they can change, mm. you know, like we wouldn't do anything about body image or yeah. anything that a person cannot change. Yeah, like, absolutely. You know. Absolutely. Um, oops, sorry, I pushed a button. Um, yeah, no, absolutely. And and I, I think that I think it's 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 a strength of the show, the the diversity that 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 is on the show. I think I don't I don't think it's ever been. Um, I don't think it's it's ever it's ever really. I see. I was gonna say I don't think it's ever been matched on kids television, but I don't watch enough kids television to be able to stand behind that. But I, I'm very proud of being on a show that has such a diverse cast for sure. Um, uh, <laughs> there's a lot of people in the chat are are very excited for um, just for Dance Mania. I think that everyone's kind of <laughs> kind of losing it a little bit. Uh, uh, so if the you know is, are there are there I mean I don't know whether you guys are going to be able to answer this because I, don't, I I imagine committing to anything right this early without anything being confirmed would be uh, a little bit uh, suspect. But are there anything is there anything for if we got a season eight that you would love to see like blue sky kind of thing? <laughs> like <laughs> the sky's the limit, no budget. Like what what is kind of like the most ideal? blue sky idea that you would love to see on the next step oh well it, it's just gonna lead to disappointment <laughs> <laughs> most of all our own <laughs> fair enough okay fair enough I, I i i i knew that was not gonna get a good answer but i thought i'd ask anyway um and uh there'll be a big face off i'd like to see a big face off how about that that's yeah, a good we... answer i like that yeah yeah. I think, yeah. And and do you? I'd love. I mean, I personally would love to have some OG cast come back, but that's. I the, the thing is, I think that they, they all have such great careers now. <laughs> it's trying to get them get them free to come back. There's the, is the big, the big issue with this stuff. I mean, how is it? How is it writing the, or like having the Christmas episode and have everyone have everyone pop back and. And be on set. Was it was it kind of nostalgic? Was it just like seeing old friends? What 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 was it like? Because I wasn't there, so I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah, it was great. It was a big reunion. It was really great. Yeah, mm, and yeah. it was it was such a puzzle, you know, because like you said, everyone is off doing their own things and has mm. schedule, you know, scheduling conflicts, and um, you know, they found a way to make it work. Mm. And so it was it was really special to have to have so many of them back yeah yeah absolutely really nice yeah i, I mean it, it, it everyone lost it when it came out right 
everyone yeah. like all of the, all of the fans love seeing all of the all, all the OG cast and, and what have you and and then you also like adapted a really fun story into a into a TNS theme story which was which is great like it's a it's a wonderful life is always a great thing to to turn into those kind of things um I mean, I, I've run out of I've run out of the questions I want to ask. Everyone's losing their mind in the chat. Is there anything that you wanted to say to the fandom that are watching? Is there is there anything that you kind of like have been like, yes, we get it, or you know? Oh, <laughs> Where, I, I mean, there's no. There's, that's there's it. so much. There's so much. Like, I think. Uh, oh gosh, I mean, like we we would love to do another. Christmas holiday special. We've got another yeah. one of those up our sleeve. Yeah. Um, uh, we always set an ambitious season for ourselves. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Um, and and I, I know all our crew and cast and definitely the the money people would. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> like we, we go blue sky and then, you know, we try to do our best and then there's always there are always stories or or, or mm. characters that that we want to have that that we're like oh okay I guess this will have to wait for yeah. another season yeah, and yeah. we do our best to pick it up. Yeah. Um, yeah, we we hear you about no shell. <laughs> we do. We have heard we it. We have noted it. Yeah. Um, we may be able to make it happen. You never know. We, we, at and, some point <laughs> never say have, never never say wow. never instagram is gonna yeah. be on fire with yeah. that one like in season six we did do the no shell duet like we you know we yeah. try we try our best but you know um to the point that rachel said earlier we always we have to stay authentic to the, the show. Sorry, there's my husband in the background. Hi. Um, <laughs> we yeah, we we need to keep authentic to the world. Yeah. And, but yeah, we definitely have here. Well. But um, we love the fans too. I mean, it's like this is you know, um, the T the A troop has always been like the little engine that could, and mm -hmm. so has this show. And you know, it it's really the fans that have kept it going because mm -hmm. almost almost every season i've been on it has been like i don't know if we can make another season happen mm. i don't know if we can make another season mm. happen and you know mm. because people enjoy it and watch it and are vocal about it yeah um, it, it keeps going Absolutely. and so you yeah. know we're, we're so grateful for that yeah. like it's yeah it's you know i mean i'm i'm flawed like there are people i know that are on that are on uh you know netflix shows that their, their fan base don't care anywhere near as much as steppers do and it's so great to be part of of a community and a, and a fandom that that is so vocal and so passionate and so like involved in in mm -hmm. in everything about it it's just it's so touching and especially like you know they've we, we've got like 300 people coming in to come and come and see you guys talk about about the next step which is Aww. it's mind-blowing to me so that, nice. that i could get that you know um oh we've got one more question Thank you. Mocking yeah. Ariana's come in again with a with another question. Another ten dollar donation. Okay. Thank you. Um, okay, and this is okay, this is wonderful and I would love to hear your answer. What <laughs> happened to Margie? <laughs> <laughs> what happened to Margie? Uh -huh. Because I love that that happened, but I have no idea. <laughs> I, I, I don't know feel this one <laughs> I, I sure I mean she's an angel <laughs> that is a great question yes it is a great question Absolutely. that is a great question I mean I it's 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 definitely like it's uh, like anytime anyone has any any kind of like oh well I thought they knew that they were on a tv show or any kind of any kind of continuity stuff or like oh who's playing the music and stuff I'm like a girl vanished into dust on this show. Okay, <laughs> let's prioritize for a second there. Yeah. Um, yeah. Oh God, that's you know just yeah. But I mean, that's a fantastic question. <laughs> it's it's a fantastic question. I think, yeah. Yeah. So we'll see. So that's uh, Margie coming back confirmed for season eight. Yes. Okay. Good. All right. That's... <laughs> 
Um, well, wonderful. It's been lovely having you, ladies. Thank you so much for being on um, and taking time out of your day. I hope you guys are doing well in, in quarantine. Is is I hope it's been, like, not as uh, anxiety-driven as it has been for me. <laughs> um, um, and I, I really hope that we get to see each other soon and we get to, like, even just have coffee let's just go like can we just go get coffee and just like socialize uh, we like can normal people a, yeah we can in, in a, a patio in hamilton <laughs> right oh yeah hamilton. Hamilton. Oh, yeah, yeah. Let's go to patio <laughs> let's just go to hamilton <laughs> yes uh, i'll drive you guys keep your masks on and or we'll uh, meet there I don't yeah know. do you okay alicia can can you can we have like some kind of answer to the to the to the uh the margie question i have an idea that it was like she, do you think she was imaginary or do you think she was real that's the that's the a good way to do it do you think uh, she was real or do you think she was imaginary oh okay um oh man okay here's some insider baseball <laughs> okay yeah let's let's that's um, what you're here for let's do it uh, yeah so she uh we had the story about her and mm. and um you know margie talked to west margie talked to i think margie was always chloe's guardian angel mm -hmm. um i think it's open to interpretation mm -hmm. <laughs> how you want to see that yeah um she was originally written as a you know a, a baby ballet dancer right. and right. character and that right. was her role yeah. um uh and then you know, maybe Chloe imagined dancing with her at the end because she right. was her inspiration. Right. So maybe like she was real, and then part of the time that we see her, she's not real. And that yeah. there, is, there is a real Margie somewhere, and that was just more like that was just Chloe's motive, jumping off point to right. That's that's you know right. that's who helped her move on. Right. 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 Would you, yeah. is that, is that, you, are you going to stick to that one as well, Karen? You're just going to be like, yeah, that's it. Good yeah, answer. Yeah. 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 Okay, good. I, All no, right. it's, I, Rachel is a genius. Yeah. <laughs> no, but she is, she is, guys. Like, yes, she's, absolutely. She's... No, she is. Uh, you both are. You both are. And, I, and I'm not just saying that because you uh, could throw me down an elevator shaft. Um, okay. <laughs> Um, again, it was lovely to have you. Thank you so much for taking your time out of your day to join me. Um, I hope this has been like not too scary being on Twitch, and I and, uh, and I really appreciate you being here. So thank you so much. Oh, well, thanks for having us. No, it's yeah, been it's thank been you. wonderful. Thank you. And great questions. And yeah, you know, thank yeah, you. Absolutely, it's been it's been lovely. Okay, thank you very much, my loves. Okay, okay thanks. All the best. Bye. 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 There we go. We did it. We did it, guys. God, that was crazy. Oh, oh, my green screen screwed up because the light's off. So there you go. That was fun, right? Let's get ones in the chat, hey? Come on. Ones in the chat for Rachel and Karen, executive producer of The Next Step, joining us. That was lovely.